Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about solving rational equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In this kind of topic, guys, um, I require you or I am suggesting na dapat marunong kayo mag-solve ng linear equation, you can also solve quadratic equation kasi eh, yung mga ma-encounter nyo dito. You can encounter na uh, we have here a rational expression and it can be transformed as linear equation or a quadratic equation. So basically, you need to know how to do those things. Okay? So I have here three different examples and I will try to give you uh, two methods in some of our examples here. So let's try having this example. Solve the following rational equations. In number one, we have x plus 8 over x is equal to 6. So the first method that I will use here is by um, knowing the LCM. As you can see, we have here the denominator of x, in which to solve this expression or to, to solve this equation, we need to eliminate that denominator. And to eliminate the denominator, simply multiply the whole equation, x plus 8 over x is equal to 6 by x. This is the least common multiple of your denominator because the denominator of this is 1 and this is also 1. Okay, the LCM is x. Now, what we will do is we will multiply it 1 by 1 by distributive property. x times x is x squared. And then x times 8 over x we can cancel out this one and it will become plus 8. Because guys, what will happen when you multiply x by 8 over x, it will become x 8x over x. So you can cancel out x and it will become 8. Now, on the other side of the equation, we have your equal to 6 times x and this will give you 6x. And as you can see guys, uh, we can rearrange this equation and it will become a quadratic equation in standard form x squared transposing this one to the other side it will become negative minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0 as you can see from a rational equation it became a quadratic equation and we will do factoring because we can factor out this one x squared minus 6x plus 8 the factors are x minus 4 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And solving for the value of x, guys. Solve for the value of x, that is x minus 4 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose natin yung mga values sa kabila. Transpose din sa kabila. Tandaan, when you are transposing a term, it will change the sign. If, that is neg if those terms are negative, it will become positive. So our x now is equal to 4, and x here is equal to 2. Okay? These are the values of x. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, guys, then, what's in your 4 and 2. Again, 4 and 2. The values of x are 4 and 2. If you will check, checking tayo, x is equal to 4. All we need to do is substitute the value of x, which is 4, to the original equation. It will become 4. In the replacement of x plus 8 over 4 is equal to 6. This is 4. And we know that if we have 8 over 4, that is the same as 8 divided by 4. It will give you 2 is equal to 6. And 6 is equal to 6. Okay? Uh, sir, how about if x is equal to 2? If x is equal to 2, it will become 2 plus 8 over 2 is equal to 6. Where in this one is 2 plus 4, 4 is equal to 6, and 6 is equal to 6. Definitely, guys, our answer is correct. As long as tamang solution yun. Now, let me erase this one. Okay? Let me erase this one. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, I will try to use two different methods. So, ginawa natin dito by using the LCM. And let's have the second method. If we have x 
plus 8 over x is equal to 6. What will I do is that I will manipulate the equation. Kapansin nyo, di ba? 1, 2, 3. Meron tayong 3 terms. I will transpose negative uh, x here to the other side. It will become 8 over x is equal to 6 minus x. And what will I do? Pulitin ko lang. 8 over x is equal to 6 minus x. What will I do is I will cross multiply. Here, we have here an imaginary denominator which is 1. And if we cross multiply this, cross multiply this, it will give us 8 is equal to 6x minus x squared. Okay? So, paano po nangyari yan? Okay, so, ito yung nangyari. 8 times 1 is equal to x times 6 minus x. And this is 8. Ito naman magiging 6x minus x squared. And uh, arranges, arranging this equation, it will give you the quadratic equation x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. And same answer, factor natin x minus 4, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x minus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. Ito naman, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Same answer but different methods. So it's up to you guys if you want to follow this method or this method. Okay? So we are done with item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, baka gumamit lang ako ng isang method guys. Baka isang method lang gamitin ko. Napakita ko na sa inyo yung possible method. Okay? Uh, for number 2, let's try having... x plus 2 over 3 is equal to 2x minus 4 over 2. Now, I will use cross multiplication kasi meron lang tayo isang term. Ginagamit ko yung cross multiplication, guys, if meron akong one term, ito one term to, sa left side, at one term sa the other, sa kabilang side. So we will do cross multiplication and it will go like this. 2 times x plus 2. Okay? For the second one, 3 times 2x minus 4 equal to 3 times 2x minus 4. What will happen is that we will use the CBT property. 2x, 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 2, that is plus 4, is equal to 3 times 2x, that is 6x, and then this one, 3 times negative 4, that will give you negative 12. And um, basic rule, guys, when it comes to solving equations, you need to combine like terms. We have here like terms, ito like terms to you have 2x and 6x. So, ang tendency, you need to combine them. So, ang um, ginagawa ko rito, normally, guys, normally, we're transferring terms uh, papunta sa kaliwa. Pero ako kasi, ito, since mas malaki yung 6x natin, I will transpose 2x to the other side. And ito 12 natin sa kabila. Okay? So, it will become 6x. From 2x, it will become minus 2x. Ito naman, 4x plus 12 because your 12 here is negative when you transpose it it will become positive now simplify this is 16 right that is 16 is equal to 4x now guys to solve for x divided by 4 and then divided by 4 cancel cancel and your x is equal to 4 this is the value of x in this given now guys, baka malito kayo. Sir, uh, why is that? In the first example, we have two values of x. While in number two, we only have one. Meron lang tayo, meron tayong dalawang values of x. Again, dalawang values of x. In example number one, because it resulted to a quadratic equation. Okay? Dito naman, since this one is a linear, we have one value for x. Okay? So another thing, it is important for us to use checking or to do checking. 
to verify whether the value of x is correct. So if your x is equal to 4, all you need to do is to replace all the x's here. Eh? So bagay natin to 4 plus 2 over 3 is equal to 2 times your x, eh? which is 4, minus 4 over 2. Simplify, you have here 6 over 3 is equal to 8 minus 4 over 2. This is 6 over 3. Ang 6 over 3 natin ay 2. Ito naman, 8 minus 4 is 4 divided by 2. That is also equal to 2. So they are equal. Ibig sabihin guys, x is equal to 4 is the correct answer for item number 2. Okay? So try to observe this one if you want. You can take a screenshot of it while watching this video. Okay, let's move on to item number 3, guys. This is our last example, guys. For number 3, let me have x plus 3 over x minus 3 is equal to 12 over 3. Okay. So, by the way, guys, in this equation, I noticed that um, baka kasi mag-cross-multiply kayo na mag-cross-multiply. As you can see, this 12 over 3 here can be simplified. We know that if you have 4 over 3, that is equal to 4. So, we can have the new equation x plus 3 over x minus 3 is equal to 4. And still, Let's try cross multiplying. This is 1. Okay. Um, 1 times x plus 3, that is x plus 3. And this time, at the mind, 4 times x minus 3. Simplify lang natin, guys. This is x plus 3. This is 4x minus 12. Okay, 4x minus 12. And combining like terms, I will transpose x here because mas malaki si 4x. It will become 4x minus x. Ito naman yung negative 12 natin. It will become 3 plus 12. So this is 4x minus x is 3x. And ito naman yung magiging 15. Dividing both sides by 3. By 3, cancel, cancel your x is equal to 5. This is the value of x in our rational equation number 5. Now, substituting the value of x. Try natin, ha? I hope natama tayo, guys. So, substitute natin. Uh, checking tayo. x is equal to 5. Okay, we have 5 plus 3 over 5 minus 3 which is 12 over 3. This is 8 over 2 is equal to 12 over 3. Simplify natin to. Ang 8 over 2 natin is 4 is equal to 12 over 3, which is also equal to 4. So since they are equal, meaning x is equal to 5 is definitely the value of x in this given rational equation. So medyo mahaba yung naging video natin. And it took me almost 40 minutes to finish this video with three different examples. And normally guys, mahaba talaga yung solution when you are solving rational equations. So, I hope na natuto kayo sa video natin. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Garn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!